Uh, so I would like to I would like to present our research about tacrine acridin derivatives. Um, Alzheimer disease is a chronic progressive and prevalent neurodegenerative disorder with, which is uh, closely connected with cognitive dysfunction and memory deficit. Alzheimer's disease is the most common neurodegenerative disorder um, affecting the elderly population. Multiple factors have been implicated in the etiology of Alzheimer's disease. It might contain uh, cholinergic transmission, uh, oxidative stress, reactive oxygen species production, biometals dyshomeostasis, uh, microtubule associated tau protein hyperphosphorylation, um, inflammatory, proapoptopic pathways, and uh, of course, beta amyloid aggregation. Um, Alzheimer's disease is ranked the third um, cause of death in the world after heart and cancer disease. And affected people um, uh, are expected to be uh, 130 people, a million people by 2050. And the decomposition of acetylcholine uh, by cholinoesterase has been considered as one of the significant uh, factors in the pathogenesis of Alzheimer's disease. Thus, cholinoesterase inhibitors like domepezil, rivastigmin, and galantamine are deemed to be effective agents in treating uh, early Alzheimer's disease cognition. Uh, to date, tacrine, rivastigmine, uh, galantamine, and donepezil have been approved by FDA. Nevertheless, uh, tacrine was withdrawn from the market because of its hepatotoxicity. Uh, the aim of uh, our work was to synthesize and, um, and was a biological evaluation of the uh, tetrachydroacridine derivatives with uh, nine acridine carboxylic acid moiety. And this uh, new our uh, compounds, um, 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 we tried to um, to uh, to do something in our uh, in therapy of Alzheimer's disease and maybe also in the diagnostic of this disease. Uh, we describe synthesis of uh, our new pounds and test uh, the inhibit inhibition potency of um, acetylcholinoesterase and butyrylcholinoesterase. Uh, we test um, amyloid beta assay, cytotoxicity, hepatotoxicity, and uh, we uh, do molecular modeling. Uh, synthesis uh, consisted of connection tetrahydroacridine uh, with nine acridine carboxylic acid by alkene chain with different left, and uh, we obtain Mm, eight new compounds with uh, the uh, hydrochlorides. Uh, both acetylcholinesterase and butyrylcholinesterase plays an indelible role in a regulation uh, level of acetylcholine, but uh, butyrylcholinesterase plays only an axillary function while acetylcholinesterase play uh, the main one in the healthy brain. Uh, the obtained IC50 values uh, for synthesized ser series of uh, and uh, re reference compound tacrine are presented in this table and compared to tacrine, 
all of them demonstrated significantly higher inhibitory con uh, activity and the most active compound was 3D. Um, previous evidence have shown that beta amyloid um, comprises a wide spectrum of species, including monomers, oligomers, and fibrils. It is known that uh, the progressive aggregation and accumulation of amyloid beta can lead to formation of extracellular cellular plaques, uh, one of the morphological hallmarks of this disease. Uh, the most active compound, 3D, uh, further was tested towards um, its ability to, to inhibit amyloid beta aggregation. And the results uh, show that um, show significant anti-amyloid beta aggregation activity of novel compounds uh, at uh, all uh, users' concentrations. Uh, the synthesized compounds uh, did not show a uh, cytotoxic effect to the concentration of uh, 5 micromolar. The cytotoxic effect appears for concentration more than 10 micromolar. The results of uh, this uh, our cytotoxic uh, study revealed that um, the synthesized compounds are toxic in the inhibitory concentration for uh, both uh, enzymes. Um, the synthesized compounds uh, 3D uh, did not show the toxic effect uh, in lower concentration on tested um, cell line. Uh, the toxic effect appears for concentration uh, 20 micromolar. Uh, the concentration uh, when uh, the toxic effect starts to be notable is much higher than picomolar inhibitory concentration also. Uh, we perform computer uh, modeling to visualize and define the binding modes of the most uh, active compound 3D to both enzymes, acetylcholinesterase and butylcholinesterase. As a result, we choose the best possible ligand, uh, ligand conformation um, with uh, lowest docking score with minimum energy. Uh, results were visualized and analyzed by um, using SkyGress. Uh, the most effective synthesized uh, compound showed dual binding mode uh, and the first uh, main binding site is in peripheral anionic site. There are not many interaction in the butyrylcholinoesterase activity sites compared to acetylcholinoesterase. So we synthesize uh, 16 new derivatives uh, which are not previously described in the literature. We um, do enzymatic studies using Elman uh, methods. Uh, we determine the selectivity of novel de derivatives. We perform then uh, beta amyloid assay, cytotoxicity, hepatotoxicity, and we perform molecular modeling. And uh, as a result of uh, our researches, uh, we received a very active compound 3D, 3D, which is characterized by the highest inhibitor act activity. And due to its properties, it was selected uh, to further analysis. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so it's, um, it seems like also the, the beginning of a long and wind, windy road uh, for further development of uh, those uh, molecules. Am I right? 
Yes, uh, we start this and now we want to um, do something uh, more. Uh, now we synthesize other series of uh, compounds, but uh, this is uh, really very interesting because uh, of the concentration. And from uh, all of our uh, compounds, uh, this is the most active series. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you plan to try those active, the most active ones in the mice test? Mice models? Yes, of course, we, we want to perform it, but uh, now uh, maybe we, we must uh, work with uh, uh, other teams to, to compare, to, to, to test it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I wish you uh, all the best then and uh, thank you very much for the presentation.